said defeat my strategy. You need to put a tag. Come up with your team and it's gonna be a tragedy. We are five weeks in and we're back on the rift. Incredible competition looking more edible. Waging war with a lore gonna be regrettable. Oh, Wiki popped them all up. That was an amazing bump breaker. Coast back into this fight, and EG did not expect any of that to start this one off. People like you are so easily forgettable playing against me, son. Your talents ain't accessible. The ends forced out of the fight. They do come up with a fast kill there, though. Oh, Dyer is so just low. Oh my god, he lives. No way. You can't defeat my strategy. That goes for your whole team, boy. It's a tragedy. Oh, just in time. Oh my god, they turn it around on Cutie Pie's head. I'm a professional. Did you think that it was ethical to come against the great? Need to be a bit respectable. No, oh, he finally goes down. That's good gold going over to Boy Boy. Only two kills shut down. Welcome to week six of the North American LCS Spring Split. We're coming to you live from our broadcast home here in Los Angeles. Hello everyone, I'm Rivington Bislin III, and with me is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler. Today we've got another huge day of games coming your way, starting off with Dignitas facing off against Evil Geniuses. First, let's take a look at the news out of the league. Huge roster changes for XDG. That's right, it was announced that Bloodwater is out and Zuna's moving back to the bottom lane, but this time as support. Taking over the jungle is going to be Nick Wu, who's been a sub for the team since 2013 Summer Split uh, and has been hitting the solo queue, you know, of course, favoring Lee Sin, Vi, and Elise. Anything that he can fight with. He loves that fighting play style. We go from last place to first place, where Team Solo Mid is looking to extend their 11-game winning streak. They are now just two games shy of that 13-game record currently held by Cloud9. And from their games, they're looking like a well-oiled machine that does not show any signs of slowing down. That's right, and they'll face off against Coast today, a team that's feeling a wave of momentum right now. Yeah, Coast did have a pretty big weekend. They snapped that six-game slide, and yeah. they ended the week going 2-0, and zero, effectively doubling their wins for the split and climbing two spots in the standings. So meanwhile, the EU LCS continues to surprise the once-dominant Fnatic going on a seven-game slump and falling into a tie for third place. The new force, Rocket, holds on to their first place spot despite an upset to SK Gaming, and Copenhagen Wolves took MVP for their jungler Amazing. And back in DNA, let's look at how the league stacks up coming into today's matches. Like we said, first place, it's Team Solo made with a commanding 11-1 lead. Then hitting some turbulence in their fifth week, it's Cloud9 sitting in second place. Tied for third place, it's Counter Logic Gaming and Team Dignitas, then hot on their heels and is Team Curse in fifth place. And then tying for sixth place with Evil Geniuses is Team Coast. And in last, it's XDG with three wins and nine losses. And we will see how that shakes out after our four games of LCS today, starting with Dig facing off against Evil Geniuses. And first place, TSM takes on Week 5's MVP Zion Spartan and Coast. Yep, and be sure to stick around for the North American Collegiate Semifinal Series. Two big best of three showdowns with a shot at advancing to the International Collegiate Championship and scholarship money is going to be on the line for that That one. is absolutely correct. The action gets underway immediately following the LCS. Now, because knowing is half the battle, let's take a look at some of the players to keep an eye on this weekend. All right, up first we have to go with XCG's new jungler, Nick Wu. We'll see if he's able to reignite Mancloud in the mid lane and how he fares against some tough competition right out of the gate with Dexter and Crumbs. Mm -hmm. Making up the other half of that shakeup, we'll be keeping an eye on how Zuna takes to support and if he's able to get the bot lane going with Xmithy. Then for Team Curse, it's the AD carry Cop. He's also been playing with a support who made a move from the jungle, St. Vicious. And mm -hmm. so far they've showed mixed results. And next is Week 5's MVP, Zion Spartan. He put Team Coast on his back and carried them in their last two wins. But today, they face the king of the hill, Team Solo Mid. And last is Pabelter. He's one of the more diverse mid laners in the league and definitely a bright spot for Evil Geniuses. And if you're looking for more info on the players, head over to lolesports.com. There you can check out player interviews and in-depth statistics, all the games from this season, and much more. You can also get your tickets to join our in-studio audience and brush shoulders with the pros. Click on the tickets link for all the details. And we're all there. Be sure to let us know who you think will take today's games. Click on matches at the top right, go to week six, and cast your vote. Now let's throw it 